Hey guys, what's going on? Tom here and welcome to another fish video and in this video we are going to be updating my salt water tank. Okay guys, so in this video we are going to do an update on my salt water tank. I haven't done one in a long time and honestly today I made a change in my salt water tank that has made the biggest difference that I've ever seen in my salt water tank. I changed something in it, I added, well I actually added a little something and it has totally changed the way my tank looks, the way it functions, the way things are living, it's absolutely insane. I changed it maybe about six hours ago and the changes are insane. So let's go take a look at what I changed in my saltwater tank. Alright guys, so this is what my saltwater tank looks like right now and honestly I cannot be happier with the way it looks like this tank is absolutely insane just and this is all from changing one thing on my tank or just adding one thing so i believe if i remember correctly the last update i gave was that i got rid of ick which is true and that has continued to stay true um, i did introduce this guy over here this royal grandma very small um, and he seemed to have brought in ick with my tank. I did a freshwater dip with some copper in it and that solved that real quick. So, I'll, you know, it's been like that for maybe, I don't know, I've been ick free for a week because he brought ick back for like a day. And uh, I got rid of it. It was really easy to uh, get rid of this time since I caught it real, real early. Look at Wiz. Isn't Wiz cool? I love Wiz. He just kind of, he loves me too. <laughs> He's so funny. He comes up to the tank all the time. Oh, I love Wiz. Wiz is so cute. I had a blue one. Um, he looked a little off uh, just from all the uh, the copper. I think the copper got to him, but that's okay. If I find another one, I'll get another one. They kind of remind me of freshwater auto cats. Anyway, um, this tank looks absolutely amazing. That's all I have to say. Um, the changes I've seen uh, just in the last six hours makes me very excited to see what uh, the changes are gonna be like uh, over time because what I saw in six hours is absolutely insane. So let's go over a couple things before I show you what I changed. I did add some extra coral um, and this was before I made the change. I added that torch coral to the right and that hammer coral to, or to the left is the torch, the hammer's to the right. Um, in the back right there is a frog spawn that this guy keeps knocking over so he is not happy. Uh, you can see he is sticking out a little bit because he's trying to get the light. I gotta fix that. And then this one back there was one that I bought before I switched and he just didn't like the placement and totally went bye-bye. Um, so I'm gonna try and fix him. Um, but that one looks like a goner, but that's okay. Um, I can lose one or two coral because the rest are looking fantastic. The frog spawn can be saved. I might just move him uh, over there, which is no big deal. Right here we got a mushroom. This mushroom I got from Cetus Coral. I probably spelt that wrong. This guy's amazing. He's a local um, local breeder, I guess, of coral, and he's actually the one that gave me the equipment to make this tank run like this. So shout out to Cetus Coral. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, he currently, he only does local deliveries, um, but if you go like his Facebook page, he is working on finding out a way to deliver. Um, via mail and all that good stuff. So see this coral, check him out down below. He's the reason I have that cool coral and he's also the reason why this tank looks amazing. So what else do we have? We have this plate coral, long tentacle plate coral. Now this coral always looked good even with the old light. That's a new turbo snail. Um, he's just doing turbo snail things, I guess. I don't know what he's really doing. Um, this plate coral is awesome. I got it from work. First time I saw it, so I had to get it. Just absolutely amazing. Easy to take care of like a plate coral, but also looks like a torch coral, which is exactly what I like. Um, yeah, this one, awesome. So I also added this mushroom here. Gonna be totally honest, don't know what it's called, but my girlfriend bought it for me before my birthday hits. She is a huge fan of mushrooms. Um, so yeah, she wants all of the mushrooms. So we also got this red one over here, which looks a little different. Um, instead of having like little blue dots like this one, um, it just has like little red lines and all that stuff. So it's a little different. What else do we have? We have Mr. New Turbo Snail cleaning up. We have the furnace on, but whatever. We'll go, we'll go with it. We got this candy coral. This candy coral is awesome. I l absolutely love 
candy corals and this light has just made it that much better um, this candy coral without this well I guess I just spoiled it brand new light um, it was like pink not even pink it was like a washed out pink so this light has just made the colors pop and I love it Wiz, I'm trying to film here get out of the way so back here we have the pretty much the dead zone just some extra shells and stuff for the hermit crabs um, we have the elephant nose uh, mushroom uh, as well actually my first coral ever still kicking even after the egg um, and back there this tree coral died like the, the first day I bought it so he's just kind of there because things like to sleep in it and stuff like that so then what else we got we got this zoanthid I can't really can't really show you no that's not working can't really show you what it looks like but it's they call it a watermelon zoanthid you can kind of see it here it's a green and red it's really small nothing massive but it's gonna look sweet once it kind of you know moves around this rock here so what else we got next this one's cool I just got this one today so it's not gonna look super sweet um, yet this is the utter chaos zoanthid and this thing is gonna be like a bright 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 red it has a total of six heads the heads being if you're not familiar with like just the, the individual circles that it has it has a total of six three big ones and then two other small ones so it is going to be so wheat once it starts going so then we got the recordia mushroom again girlfriend likes mushrooms so i bought a recordia mushroom and it looks like it is actually splitting it's not glued down to anything but it attached itself to this rock so that's what i wanted to do it's you know it is what it is hello fish we will talk in a second we will talk in a second so we got the zoanthids the watermelon zoanthids what the hell is coming out of you now you're probably looking for food so yeah i know these are the blueberry zoanthids blueberry i got these from cs coral as well they are awesome they're actually a hiding place for mr grandma over here what else we got here we got the pulsing zinnias i got these back i absolutely love them there's actually this actually came in two or actually just one big pile on that frag stone right there and uh, they actually split so there's actually another half on the back and they're just awesome I know they spread around like weeds but they just look sick and then we got this leather uh, Kenya tree in the back I got that for like five bucks from CS coral as well awesome and the one reason why I really like this new setup is that this actually doubled in size in six hours because of this light it's absolutely absolutely insane what this light is doing so yeah that's pretty much what i got guys i can't i guess i guess i could show you so what this is is this is the marine land light that i was using before um right now it's on white that's it on blue so it makes it helps the tank look like that but really what you want what i want out of this is the white um so that the corals can actually grow because you need a mix of both um so i'm going to test this out see if this is powerful enough to help grow some coral. If not, I will just get a second one of these, which I actually already have, because Cetus Coral actually gave me two of these. He gave me this one for free, and then I paid 20 bucks for the other one, um, which is awesome. So really, I paid 10 bucks for both, and uh, for me to actually get one of these for myself brand new, it would cost me like $200. So I saved a lot, a lot of money. The only thing I'm not a huge fan about of these lights um, is because they are powerful. This one, not hot. This one, quite warm. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But the nice thing is, is I don't have to run it anywhere near as long as I'm doing it now. So that, that is pretty, pretty sweet. Um, and really the easiest thing to do is I flip it off and that's what the tank looked like before. Oh God, that looks so ugly. That looks, ugh, that looks pretty. Oh my God. It is hard to show you guys with the blue light what it's supposed to look like, but it looks, this looks fantastic. I am super duper 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 happy with the way this tank is looking. So yeah, that's pretty much the update guys. This tank is doing fantastic. I've got my nitrates and all that stuff under control. The canister filter down here is the problem. So now uh, I pretty much, I took everything out. I put uh, matrix, Seacum matrix and Seacum denitrification or something. I don't know what it, I don't remember what it's called. I put that in there. Um, instead of like you know all the carbon and stuff and what i do every week or every water changes i just open it up i take the water out of there dump it into a bucket so that takes out all the extra food and then the rocks do whatever and once a month i'm just going to rinse the rocks out in tank water and life is 
going to be good. This tank is awesome. So, let's go over, I guess, some new fish. I, You guys have seen, well, I guess now, this green wrasse. This green wrasse does have a story. I'm not going to tell it yet. I will tell you the story later. Um, he will definitely outgrow this tank eventually, so he will eventually have to leave. Um, but, you know, one day he will be gone. He's actually eating the bristle worms that are underneath all the rock that developed uh, during my uh, little ick outbreak, which was a pain in the butt. Um, you know, we've already met Wiz. Wiz does his own thing. Firefish is a lot more active now, actually, with the stronger light. Um, the clownfish are extremely boring, and I'm very disappointed in the clownfish. But this also means that they're super comfortable in the tank when they just kind of find their spot they like. So this guy honestly likes to hang out like right at the top, literally just swims at the top and then this guy just kind of hugs the wall. Even when he feeds, he doesn't move. He just kind of hangs out on the wall until the food comes. He's super lazy. The Mr. Grandma, he's the new guy. I really like him. I like Mr. Grandma. He's cool and I, th and then, oh yeah, cleaner shrimps. Can't forget the cleaner shrimps. They are sweet. They are awesome. I got two of them, again, because I did lose my other ones to Ick. So yeah, that's pretty much the update, guys. That's it. The The tank's running awesome. Um, they're hungry, even though I already fed them. Um, yeah, the, core, the, the just the tank is just looking fantastic. Um, one day, I may increase the rock work a little bit so that there's more top action, but I don't know. I don't know. I kind of, kind of like it like this. This guy just yawned. He just yawned. But yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys would, please leave a like down below. This tank is awesome. And this light has made my life just that much better. Oh, gotta love Solar. Gotta love Solar. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys would, please leave a like down below. My name is Tom, also known as Flip. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.